Hi, I'm Sammy, and this is MagSpoof. MagSpoof is a device that can spoof any MagStriper credit card entirely wirelessly. It can disable chip and pin protection, can switch between different credit cards, can accurately predict the credit card number and expiration on American Express cards after they've been reported lost or stolen, and works even on normal MagStripe readers that don't support NFC, RFID, or any wireless features. As you can see, you can put it up to any traditional credit card or point of sale system, and it believes a credit card is being swiped by producing a strong electromagnetic field that quickly turns on and off, emulating the magnetic field that would normally be produced by physically swiping a card. To understand how this works, let's first take a look at a credit card. Old credit cards have a magnetic stripe on the back. This stripe is in fact magnetic, but not strong enough to pick up typical objects. However, if we dip the card in tiny iron oxide filings I have here, you'll see the iron actually sticks to the mag stripe in some areas. There are literally hundreds of strips of magnets in the mag stripe, and they attract the iron oxide I have here. This magnetism is what a mag stripe reader is reading when you swipe your card. What's interesting is these strips are wide enough that we can actually extract the data off of a mag stripe with the naked eye. First, let's flip the card over and look at the second track, which is easier to see. Mag stripes have three tracks, however only the first two are used for credit cards. You'll notice there are strips and spaces. If we see two dark strips in a row, that's a one, and a strip and a space is a binary zero. Track two is five bits per character, least significant bit first, and the fifth bit is an odd parity bit that we can ignore. By taking each five bits and reading the first four bits, we can now begin extracting the credit card number and I show that for the first eight digits of my own card here. Other information is also stored on the mag stripe, such as expiration date, service code, and other discretionary data. Once you know this data by reading it manually or using a mag stripe reader, you can enter the data into MagSpoof to emulate. MagSpoof works by creating a strong electromagnetic field that penetrates the mag stripe reader or point of sale system and can work from inches away in the current implementation. The polarity of the field is flipped to emulate a card physically being swiped without MagSpoof having to physically move at all. Because the data is being generated from scratch, this allows us to further learn about the data we're sending. One interesting aspect is the service code portion of the MagStripe. The service code within a credit card MagStripe defines several attributes of the card, including whether the card can dispense cash, where it can work nationally or internationally, and most interestingly, whether the card has a built-in chip and if it supports chip and pin or EMV. If your card has a chip inside and you go to a retailer that supports chip but swipe just your mag stripe, the point of sale system will ask you to dip your card in for additional security. However, the bits stating that the card has chip and pin can be turned off from the mag stripe. This means if you take a card to a retailer that would normally request you to dip, you can actually get away with not dipping your chip at all while performing a successful transaction, evading the security measures altogether of chip and pin or EMV. What initially led me to investigate magnetic stripes was my American Express card. After losing a card and Amex quickly sending me a replacement, I noticed many of the digits were similar. I pulled up the numbers to several other Amex cards I had and then compared against more than 20 other Amex cards and replacements and found a global pattern that allows me to accurately predict American Express replacement card numbers even if already reported lost or stolen. Because the expiration date is based off of the new card's issue date, the expiration date is also easily predictable. I've informed American Express about this issue and will not be releasing the algorithm to prevent its use in fraud. Additionally, I've removed any chip and pin removal code from MagSpoof as well, also to prevent any fraud that could occur from there. MagSpoof does not enable or support fraud. However, it is still able to emulate any card or MagStripe in your possession, and does allow you to perform further research in areas of MagStripes, microcontrollers, and electromagnetism. You can use Arduino or an ATtiny and a few other inexpensive components that I've listed on the website to build this. MagSpoof can load multiple cards and allows you to switch between any of them with the press of a button. Additionally, it allows you to inexpensively build a device similar to other existing technologies, such as Samsung's MST and the coin card, while having features that those devices lack. 
I've included plenty of additional information on MagSpoof, including schematic, source code, and general information on these various areas on my website at sammy.pl slash magspoof. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks!